Okay. We're back with some Black Red Death Shadow. A classic. Now, at least, with Scourge of the Sky Clays. Playing some new cards. We're playing some Knight's Whispers in the main deck. We're playing some Bomat Couriers. The rest is pretty stock. Bolts, Swiss Spears, six discard spells, pushes, shadows, TPR. Out of the board, deal with these Titan decks showing up. We've got Blood Boons, Kozark's turn for these pro red and black creatures. Feed the Swarm for some ore removal, enchantment removal, ant grass rampage, catch all removal, Kroxa, you know, Soul Guide Lantern, Graveyard Hate, and another Fatal Push. Well, let's get into the games. Well, hopefully, we find a opponent quickly, and then we can get to the games, you know? And there it is. Found opponent quickly. Or at least quick enough. Hmm. 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 <laughs> okay, let's reveal our companion the loose. I think I'll be leading on Sospear here because we have the double bobble. Stomping ground tapped, eh? So I want to play out these Mishra's Bubbles and I want to get as much value out of them as possible. I still think Bomat is not very good right now because of Rune 6 plus uh, Lava Dart decks, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do. My opponent completely tapped out, is stopping in the beginning of combat step for at least 5 seconds to, you know, look at the view of our Swiss Spear, I guess. Hmm. Well, that's disgustingly strong. Yes, I think that matchup is very favorable for Mono Red. Whatever Doom Lake says, I still don't believe that it can be favored for Red Black Shadow with how the decks are built right now. Oh, this is what's happening to us. I see now. I now understand. Let's agree to disagree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hmm. Pepe D, yes. Pepe D indeed. Let's take this off the side. So I can remember when it actually starts. We're just casting life in the loan? Wait, how much did my opponent mulligan here? They mulligan to five, okay. It is not particularly good, it seems. Well, we know they have Shriek Horn in, so I, think I can guarantee take. Yeah, I think I want to do this so I can play out my Death Shadow this turn. Hmm. Wait, they not draw Shriek Horn? Oh no, that's their next draw. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Shriek Horn's their next draw. I mean, I think I still have to Thought Seize there. Well, it's because Pioneer was super hype, and we were, like, we put out Pioneer content before Pioneer content was even available, because we did it in, like, the tournament practice lobbies, right? I'm Orbed. Thanks for the sub, appreciate it.
Attack here. Walks him on, but Tron won't let me. That's fair. Good format. <laughs> I don't know if Pioneer has ever been a good format. I'm skeptical that Pioneer was ever a good format. When Obos cost five and not eight, it was good to cost six and not not nine. That was the true problem. Lantern room. What a pioneer. I mean, yeah, but it's like basically people were just playing commander. <laughs> like so. See, a guy just. Okay, hit me with the YouTube content. You have great content for what I've watched. I enjoy your commentary. But I can hear you breathing a lot. Other than that, keep up the great work. <laughs> you can hear me breathing a lot. That just means I have a good quality microphone, you know? Just means I got a good quality microphone. This shouldn't kill him. Turn you stuck. Oh, that's definitely true. I mean, Lurus Modern was fine, because I won a lot, but really limited the amount of decks that you could play, let me tell you. I know, uh, Ashiok, what's his name, a Ashiok, it's just Ashiok, that's what people call him, I guess. Um, just crushing with Etron at that time, because Etron was, like, secretly insane, because you just, like, you just play Chalice of Life, people lost. Uh... I keep this hand, although I'm not particularly excited about it. Phone will get to five. I'm a fan of that. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, opponents on five, still thinking about it. Okay, our hand got a lot worse. Playable for a while. Laris and Vintage was... That was bad. Our hand is actually completely non-functional versus that ley line. And Laris did not actually play Vintage at all. Well, I mean, it's fine if you print a card and it's broken in Vintage. The thing is, they obviously didn't play any of the cards in any of the formats because they would have realized that it was a humongous mistake. Like, very quickly they would have realized it. Only touch for Standard? I mean, wasn't it still a big mistake in Standard? Pain still see playing standard. Like heavily, don't they? And this is with them like costing three and like without them. Like imagine they had Bill Summer, Oko, Once Upon a Time, like all these busted cards all in the same format. And Fires Invention and like who knows what else. I think I'm gonna bolt myself here. 
Well, some open standard only new round is good in standard. Isn't rogues with Luris just like good in standard? Creeping chill at least makes my dust shadow bigger, right? Once excuse and four other guys with the best standard for like for two years. Yep. You're right. I didn't add anything, so that's good for us. Hard cast creeping chill, sure. Unless they hit two more creeping chills, I should be fine here. Hey, Dykemore Solves needs to find the world by finding the world, finding Ox Veganos. That needs to find them the world. Oh, they're just dead instead. Got them. It's just that easy, boys. We have 14, they only have 3 blocks. Hmm. Trouble spelling the word rogue. No, that's just the way it goes. You are a dead opponent. Yep. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm gonna go try and find another match and we'll use the bath and I'll be right back. Came back just in time. Perfect, perfect. Control freak. I believe he is also on shadow. Keep this in. I'm just gonna bobble them, see what they're working with. Breeding pool, okay. Position. Hmm. Just gonna take Thoughtseize here, I think. And it's fairly good. Hmm. Yeah, now the people at the mocks actually like had good deck lists, and most people don't have good deck lists. I'm not gonna play Scourge, and it'll be a 6 6. I'm not sure exactly why they double Street Wraith there, seeing that I'm probably on that Shadow deck. Hmm. 
Oh no, they have Breeding Pool in their hand. Dismember here. I'm gonna make myself dead to TBR, but I think it's good versus mainly everything else. My plan is bolting myself to Sunbait Canyon and then I'll trade versus the Dismember, I believe. Six six. So this will be a nine nine. No, it'll be a ten ten. Minus five. Oh no, it will be a six six. Yeah, no, you're right. You're actually, right. So I did the math wrong. Yeah, I guess I did the math wrong a little bit. Did the math slightly wrong. I thought it would be five five versus like or six six or six six or five five versus five five for some reason. <laughs> and if they didn't block, they'd go down to one. <laughs> Still doesn't do enough, but I still need to do it to get down my shadows. Hmm. 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 Okay, they just have a lot of shadows as well. That's a problem. Well, now I don't like my attack at all. Just draw TBR and make it easy for us. And we lose two. Hmm. Just wondering if I can lead on TBR and what blocks they could have. Stubs, right? Yeah, I mean, they're representing it. I'm just wondering if I can TBR here and make them use a Stubborn Denial. Or if they don't have Stubborn Denial, if I can just TBR before combat and they'll still be good enough. 
13, 13, 26 damage. Both of these will be lethal as well, so they have to put this, this, and it'll be 16. If we just put all the damage on both the shadows first for the first 13. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is actually really bad. I should not have done this. Now I'm forced into it, though. I should not have fetched their first. That was a mistake. Now we lose to removal spell. That was horrendously bad, what I just did. Probably lose me the game. So I can't even... Yeah, that was just horrendously bad, what I just did. But, like, I just did it without thinking... It's possible that just like we're just supposed to lure us there instead, like put lures to the hand. Because the fetch is just so bad for this, it's insane. The fetch is just so bad. I just threw really badly. If I didn't fetch, then I'll be fine here. Now I just have to block everything because I fetched on accident. And I was forced to shock, I think. It's just a punt. No other way to say it. Yep. Just a big punt. Just like mind fart happened to lose. Feels bad, man. feels bad to lose uh, a game that I think I'm like fine in just because I just just had a brain fart like and I just had two brain farts in a row where I just like did math wrong boil wait, boil what? Showcase of Saturday, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like a brain fart. Like, I knew what I wanted to do, and then I just didn't do it. Because, for whatever reason, I literally had my play lined up and then just, just clicked wrong. Or whatever. Just did whatever. I could have even just, like, held the fetch, not showed it. And then, um... And then TBR at first, maybe he doesn't get rid of it. Like, maybe he doesn't counter it for some reason. I'm just gonna take Lyrus. Maybe it's the best card in their hand. They have to Assassin's Trophy this, they can't dismember it, so that means that I get like an extra land, which is nice. <laughs> oh, my 
neck. Killing me today. <laughs> I assume now it's as a trophy. I mean, I just have so many removal spells that I like don't really care all that much, right? Straight men, Trisha Lairs, yeah. I know this is just going to get dismembered, but I think I'm fine with that. I think I'm fine with it. Just get myself a two for one. Another shadow, okay. them to take enough damage before I get a double bolt them out. Is that too much to ask? That sucks. Floods out. You know it, Horn. You know how the Death Shadow matchup works out, it seems. Keep this shit on top. <laughs> top taking a bolt. That would also be a good one. I would agree. <sighs> Reversely, Unwald. Got it, bud. please we're dead <laughs> we can bring in blood moon but I don't know <laughs> thanks <Bob>. yep <laughs> <laughs> if I 
Shadow25, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. <laughs> Play Dawn and Fetch Land on turn one, Poggers. Waiting stubbed. Am I getting good old stubby stubbed? Go stubbed. You know, there's one of those barbecue sauces I eat a lot. It's called stubs, so you know, it's right up my alley to just get good old stubby stubbed. Got some ever for that one. I'm gonna lead on dismember in case I have to discard like some like random thing that makes it so like I can't dismember basically. I'm gonna take the Inquisition here because I can just thought seize away the fatal push. Stubs. Let's make my name. I already figured out why I'm six to three. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> we'll take Fatal Push. At least we get a land out of the uh, Assassin's Trophy. At least we get a land out of the Assassin's Trophy. Thank you for the follow, GC99. Appreciate it. Gonna do this, not attack. Make themselves like damage themselves to get their death shadow in. Cause they're like kind of forced into doing that, right? Now we can just like let us bring it back. I mean, they do have the soul guide lantern, right? So they can't soul guide lantern away. It's probably their game plan, you know. Want to find like a bobble or something here, pretty bad. They found a bobble. Not bad. Not a bad draw at all. Um, I think packing in for one here is fine. Like, if they play out Shadow now, it's not that big of a deal to me, I think. Play Assassin's Trophy? I have played Assassin's Trophy before. 
I just need to fade like discard spell plus shadow, basically. Guess they could have stubs. Make things a bit worse for me. Like removal spell plus. Assume they have a removal spell of some sort, right? Yeah. Put shadow, best turn. Up to you, bud. Up to you to find the goods to get me. Up to you to find the goods to get me. Oh, they're searching. They're looking. They are looking. Inquisition. Okay. Oh. I gotta find it off the top. Because they don't, they're dead. They hit? Did not hit. Feels good, man. And we're gonna draw another shadow anyways. Easy game, easy life, boys. Let's get in one more before the LCQ. LCQ's got 29 minutes to help fires. Hmm. Alright, I already figure out why. I assume it's because, you know, GX is cheating on you, but maybe not. They, oh, playing against Pleasant Kenobi. I'm gonna keep this hand and lose because we don't draw another land. Think we'll. <laughs> Jump and do a front flip right now. I'll tip $25. Well, can't do a front flip. And uh, I think there's a possibility I'd hurt myself doing that, so I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. I didn't think I would hurt myself, I would do it, but. No go. Hmm. I'll take some cards out here. Hmm. 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 four color shadow. We did. I'm gonna wait on this thought seize um till they either get a hammer or they bring letters to their hand. What are they looking for? Hammer? Not hammer? <sighs> I just want to draw another land here. Can you plating? Sure. Got it, button. Sure. I'll take the hit. I love taking damage here. Hmm. <laughs> Bowmaker, beat down, let's go. Well, it's like, you're going wild here. Bobble, sure.
Curtain stalls, okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if Pleasant Kenobi was streaming this, so you know. If you want some good content, you can probably watch him as well at the same time. Look from both sides. They put layers to the hand, like I expected. All well, thoughts use your layers. Their hand is Paradise Mantle of Cranial Plating Giver Runes. Sure. Why am I hiding all my lands in a bow map? Good question, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the game plan, I can beat that. Or give her runes down, so. Hmm. Sorry, April soundtrack. <laughs> I wonder. I, I won't. I'm gonna look at the end of the game how many lands are underneath my bow maker, if any. I just. I gotta know, you know? I've got to know. That sucks. We have to let this all go. Because if we don't, we just die to the ink bomb like this. Dismember this giver of runes. Okay, we're gonna check how many lands are in. Ah! Let's figure it out. Main in the LCQ. Let's we'll see. Okay, I want to figure out how many lands I had on there. This is important. How many lands do we have in our deck? We have 19 lands in our deck. So there's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's one, only one land under there. You're actually just only going to draw one land. Okay, okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Actually, this is pretty bad, I think. It's probably fine. That's Whisper seems bad. That seems bad. Bowmat seems pretty bad. Yeah, 
I'm gonna go use the bathroom and be right back. Hmm. I'll keep a one lander again and lose. Two lands, right? Seventeen. Well, no, because we had a fetch land, so it's the eighteenth. So there's eighteen lands accounted for. Do video, man. Fuckers. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> okay, the modern LCQ is guaranteed to fire. Got eighteen players in it now. Pleasant Kenobi going deep in the tank just for me. I have 20 minutes to finish this match. I may have to concede it early. We'll see. Hmm. Should I give him a resident sleeper? Let's see. Is he? Oh, I'll, I'll check if he's streaming too. I won't actually click on his stream. But I'll see if he's streaming. Okay, they mulligans. <laughs> Streamers are finally playing code names. <laughs> <coughs> I'm fine not like looking at the top of my deck to see if I have a land. I don't want to trick myself. That sucks a lot for me. <laughs> oh, they are streaming. Okay. This guy comes in twos. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, drew the land. Feels good, man. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, that's great. They don't have the. That's not as great for me. It's fine as long as they don't go like zero drop hammer with like some sort of protection of some sort because we just have fatal push, so it's not the end of the world. Pick another person with him on stream. Oh, really? <laughs> Who is he playing with? Or is it because, are you saying for the chat, the meme? <clears throat> just listening to anime OPs right now. I remember what it's an OP for. 
Oh, it's for Kuroko no Basket. That's how I recognized it. Mm hmm. Yeah, sure. Could be getting Veil Summoned here. Maybe not get Veil Summoned. So probably have Path to Exile, I have to imagine. Probably didn't want to fetch Shock because of Scourge then. That makes the most amount of sense then. That makes sense, I guess. It's interesting. That is an interesting draw, to say the least. <laughs> we had lethal. Oh yeah, we fatal push our own guy, yeah. We did have lethal. You are 100% right, we did have lethal. <laughs> I just wasn't thinking about it. Uh. <laughs> the Twitch chat all-stars come out. The, the Twitch chat all-stars really come out of the, come out of their hidey hole. Uh, when, when one person makes a misplay, let me tell you. The, twi the Twitch chat all stars. Let's <laughs> leave them on both sides. Perfect. Hmm. I assume you're already playing this deck. The event, Gasman. So you're playing it earlier. But maybe not. I really hope I get the buy. We win, right? Shadow Spear. Interesting. <laughs> oh, I do damage to the stone, which I can only attack one creature. <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. <laughs> I'll keep this hand. Not the most excited about it, but I will keep it. Okay, Pleasant Kenobi, let's get on with it.
cute. Just one second, gotta do something on my other monitor real quick. Just gotta do something super quick. And then we'll get back to this game. Yeah, let's bobble them. <laughs> I don't believe Hoogland and Kenobi are related. Hmm. Let's see some. Let's take Oriok Champion. Not too excited to play against Oriok Champion, let me tell ya. <laughs> tuned an MTG deck in your life? Yeah, I have. Um, Eldrazi Tron, um, Hardened Scales, anything else? Uh, Grixis Four Color Shadow, kind of, at one point. Hmm. Don't think anything else that I can remember. Yourself a mediocre deck builder, yeah. I mean, I only like start tuning deck lists based. Oh, that red white prowess deck. I cut Manamorph like as many Manamorphs as I could from that deck. I remember. That deck list was good. It was a good deck list. <laughs> I think I just want to do this so I can lose two more life to make my shadow. not think about Veil Summer there, I'll be honest. And I got punished for not playing out my Swiss Spear, because I realized now with what their hand is, I should have just played out the Swiss Spear first. But then I can't attack with it. That was really loose. fine. I've definitely not tuned a control deck, I think, ever. I can remember, at least.
I'm gonna play this out first so I can, you know, tap, have this be tabs. So I can deal some extra damage here. Extra local meadows, you know. Hmm. I ran into like there's. I remember I used to play these like 1Ks in uh I used to play these 1Ks at a uh, at this like place near me in Portland. It was like an hour and a half away, and I would play it. Sometimes I'd play like Affinity or Hardened Skills, and, and like. Always, I would just, like, con people into the top eight, like, 5 and one or, like, 4 and 2 or whatever, get into the top eight, and then, uh, my first round opponent would always be the guy who would purposely put, like, ancient grudges or, like, stony silences in his deck, and this was when, like, affinity and Arden skills were, like, basically unplayable decks, because of Phoenix, and pe and this guy just put, like, stony silences or, like, ancient grudges or whatever, like, a bunch of them in his deck, because there's always, like, two people that play affinity, like, no matter what, regardless if it's good or bad. I'd always just run into him in the first round of top eight and just like get dumpstered. And I'd be like super pissed. No, I'd loosen those 1Ks a lot because I'd play bad decks. Like, I played Jund in it a couple times. I played five color zoo. Lost my winning in there. Didn't have good enough breakers to draw by like 1%. Um, I played black, white, Eldrazi in taxes, and these people that weren't supposed to draw. Drew and I got tilted and scooped my opponent in to make it so uh, a new player missed top eight, even though I was winning the match. And then um, what else? There's a couple different things. I literally looked at the player who was new and said, "This is why you don't draw," or or like, "This is why you don't listen to your friends," or something like that, because I was so mad. <laughs> and then the guy I scooped to ended up like winning the tournament, which is great. Hmm. I was pissed. I will not deny that I was very upset that Okay. Let's TBR here. Have to have path. I probably should have pushed first. But I kind of wanted to bait them into like using Ikmoth Nexus. Because they have path here, it's pretty brutal for us. Thank you for the follows. I appreciate them. Put the TPR in the shadow because of path. I mean, no, I'd actually rather put it here because they don't gain life. But maybe yeah, I'm supposed to like some galactic brain put on the shadow that I'm not that I'm missing. Or three no. That's pretty nice. We'll see you guys in the next match. Okay guys, we're back for round four, I believe. We're three no. Shadow looking good. Even while this is happening, I'm also three and in a in a tournament off to the side with Mill. Feel good about that as well. Let's bobble them. See if we need to do a turn one. Let's see. Is. See what they're on. Oh, my mode is crashing from a thought seize. You love to see it. The Liana of the Veil. Vale. Playing against Jund, it looks like. Let's see what they're working with. Okay, my moto is not happy. Time for a restart. Fatal push. 
<laughs> this hand is so good against me. It's insane. Him is actually so good against me. What the heck? Well, the hand is like nutted against mine. Yeah, I, I just need to restart Moto. It's just like crashing for everything. Hmm. Okay, Moto. It will come back soon enough. <laughs> I think I like another thought sees here. So I don't, I don't think I'm winning if they get to a third land. I'm like pretty confident I'm not winning if they hit a third land. But if they don't hit a third land, I think I've got a chance. If they don't hit a third land, I think we have a chance. They drew thoughts using position. Crooksa. Okay, I guess we ditch TBR here. Not a bad draw. Draw third land, bud. If you don't draw third land, I'm looking pretty. If you do, I'm looking pretty bad against three X Leona the Veil. <clears throat> of course, of course, of course. Why not? Why wouldn't you? That was a really good draw, actually. I think I'm just supposed to hit them. Like, killing the Liliana doesn't do anything. If they're plusing, they're getting a card out of their own hand. But when it's time to shine, shit. <laughs> There's like, now if we draw another TBR, we have outs as well. This is the situation in which it goes kind of badly for me, potentially. Maybe we did have to kill off Liliana.
on killing off the Liliana and coming back to hurt me. Hope they don't draw a removal spell. That'd be unfortunate. Hmm. Draw the fourth Liliana. Wow. I do the fourth Liliana. Spell to make it so my thoughts use is nothing. Uh, only took the fourth Liliana. What a joke. What a joke. The idea behind bowmatting first is we're still able to beat a Renin Six on our bowmat if we're able to inquisition the bow inquisition the Renin Six. down to just double inquisition them. I killed my bow mat off. Left and bolt, okay. Oh, they're drawing another land. Oh, they're drawing crooks, so okay, okay. I'll just stitch my lightning bolt. This is their hand. Croxa, Blood Braid, two lands. So they're gonna lose a land here. And then we get a Croxa before they get a Croxa.
Okay, Crooks, uh, let's get, let's get some work done. Opponent had a lower life total than me. <laughs> Don't play Liliana the Veil, please. Blood Braid Elf? Oh no, this is their own croak, so. Okay, I see, I see. to block at least something. Hmm. It's completely based off of what they top deck here, how I'm going to play my next turn. Really hit Bloodbird Elf off the top? That's a pretty good one. And I'll spell bomb, that doesn't matter. So I don't with any bolt, any rule spell. Creature's probably good enough still as well. Another Croaks to win as well. Bolt works. Bolt plus Croaks uh, equals zero life total for the opponent. Easy game. Okay. Game three. Probably have this other K command in my deck. <laughs> I could see cutting all my bow mats for blood moons uh, for game three. I could see that being correct. Let's see, it's definitely not keepable. Yeah. Could just ditch the bow mat career because if they have Ren 6, it's really fucking bad for us. Besides, Ren 6 is not so bad. Just hope they don't have Ren. To imagine I'm getting rid of six now. That or they kept an incredibly slow hand. Red and six seems a lot more likely though. Oh, black red. Croak so. I think I'm hmm. I think I'm just ditching lightning bolt here. bolt ourselves next turn. That was like a consideration between K command and bolt. It's because we may need to bolt ourselves to make our shadows like playable. opponent. Hmm. I really wish I found like a fetch land so I didn't have to just bolt myself right off the bat. <clears throat> I don't 
think they have bolts because they would have uh, tapped their overgrown tomb over their black leaf cliffs. So I don't think I have to leave out the other bolt for my dust shadow. Hmm. Could be a bit of a problem is uh, maelstrom pulls. I'm not going to play around maelstrom pulls. <laughs> Final noob. You didn't get it, though. Someone got you in between on the way down. Leon the Vow. Okay. I think I want them to be plussing here pretty badly. They're really on the veil. Okay, got rewarded for not using the bolt. They have to chump this turn. So if we draw a removal spell, we win the game. Seems like a good spot to be in. Works on not quite a removal spell, but it is something. I don't think they have a straight up removal spell or else they would have used it this turn. Possibly we're supposed to attack both Liliana, but I don't think so. I'm getting Kroxa back next turn. It seems kind of bad for me to do. Okay, now it's if I draw land here or not. If I draw land, I think I'm incredibly far ahead. If I don't, I think I'm incredibly far behind. It needs to be a not a fetch. Uh, actually, fuck. Fetch land isn't even good here. Instead, to them bringing back Kroxa, we're actually just straight dead. We need to draw our two of swamp, basically. dead here sadly maybe there's a spot where I could have I killed off Liliana instead I don't know I don't know I don't think if I kill off Liliana don't block blood, blood braid they just attack me Kroxa and they like block the next turn and we dead anyways yeah so I don't think we had any way to win they just Kroxa instead yeah I don't know. I 
My opponent said, why croaks it? You'll die. Lurist, it's my... I have to ask him, do you know how the companion rule works? <laughs> like, I don't know why this guy's going like... It's like, you, you're such an idiot for playing out your croak so I'm just like, I mean, I can't win any other way. But getting back Lyris leaves me dead even more. This way at least gives me a chance that they mess up. Mono on this a couple weeks ago. Any changes you would make? Uh, I don't know. You die. Yeah, like I'm just dead no matter what. Like I'm just dead no matter what. This guy is just BMing me. <laughs> I did say I do like the savage BM though. It is nice to see fellow moto chat parades. Understand. I do like I do like the opponent that just savagely berates you, uh, not thinking about what they're saying. It is a classic. Yeah, I was I was totally I was totally gonna win that game if I didn't learn, if I didn't went for Lyra's. Okay, we'll see how we end up doing in the final match. Okay, we're back for the final match. We're three and one. Didn't record this all on the same day, so you know, look a bit different, especially, you know, with the new added glasses. My opponent said good luck, hello chat if you're streaming. Um Yeah, I think I can keep this hand. Change the animal to the deck. Oh, nice. Thoughtseize. Well, my hand is pretty Thoughtseize proof because, like, Bowman Career is not that good against whatever deck is Thoughtseize you have to assume. It's kind of unfortunate we're playing against probably Jund in the last two matches. How's it going, Bill Ma? Okay, thoughts these. Take the K command. Ooh, we're playing against Jun's Shadow, it looks like. Probably. Not a good spot for that deck. It's like fine. Nothing outstanding, I think, though. Not a good card for my opponent to know I have in my hand. Oh, they are just like, just jumped with bobbles, I guess. Maybe they're black green. If I saw Ren in six there, I would have not played Bomat here and just left up Lightning Bolt, Bolt Ren, and then attack with Bomat. Squash and I on with glasses. I went to the eye doctor, you know, do what they say, right? Let's 
see what we can find here off the top. Inquisition's not a bad pickup. Allows us to get the Liliana. Abrupt decay. Okay. The only on the veil is the only card I can't really like deal with. Uh, very easy way. My hope is that I just go like bolt or push something here. I'm drawing land made things actually a lot harder for me. Yet, I feel like. Interesting spot for me. I'm fine taking the damage here, I think. Surprised that they're attacking them. That is very annoying. I think I need to do this. Though we did end up getting punished by having exactly land on top, I think. So we could have gotten like Lyris back or Lyris to the hand and leave Dismember up. They want to block here. I'm like very excited. Because then we just clear everything and we have Lyris and they have a random top deck, right? We have not only Lyris, but we also have a TBR. So we actually have like. And we're not going to TBR the Bomat Courier because then we don't have this number open. And if they get this up to three, it's really bad for us. I'm going to let them level it up until they get to three. I think I want to just do this. I don't know how I felt about my play this game, I'm not quite sure. Because now, like, I don't know how I beat this exactly. We'll see. We can figure it out. Them drawing the third. Wow. They're willing the thoughts he's there. That's wild. Oh, we're just leveling that up to three. Interesting. Can be a lot of outs now. Okay, they're on no cards in hand. Now we just see who top decks better. See if they whiff. Looks like they whiffed on the first one. They whiffed as well. Let's see if they whiff again. I am very surprised they were thought seizing over just making a 4 4. Okay. Whiff again, please. Looks like they whiffed again. Didn't quite whiff. I don't think we're going to be constrained by mana, basically, on this turn, so I'd rather make myself not susceptible to a discard spell and bobble them now. Well, they did, definitely didn't whiff, but at least they're not, like, dealing with me yet. I guess they drew Peatland off Peatland. Did I get glasses? I did get glasses. I did get glasses. 
They're annoying because, like, most glasses just don't feel that great on me because of my nose, but this is, like, fine, at least for now. Not what I was looking for. Probably dead now. Looks out at the YouTube sub. Love to see it. Throwing that many lands in a row is not going to get me there, I don't think. I see that I've got nothing. That's not great for me. I have to draw very specifically to get out of this one now. I think I need to keep this in my hand for a turn to try and get a second threat to play in one turn. I'll spell bomb, okay. Hmm. Is there a contacts? You know this doesn't work with glasses. I'm definitely not gonna do contacts. I hate contacts. But it's also like the these are like prescription for like tint as well as some other things about it. Hmm. Can I afford another plus here? I think I can. Drawing five lands plus a scourge is not quite going to get me there. Okay, now the game is over, I think. If I drew that other scourge there, I think I actually could have won the game. Yeah, I mean, it just came down to who top decked first. They have more lands than me, but they also have cycle lands, so they got me there. I actually think Bomat's not that bad. They didn't draw that third. Uh, I don't know, there's a couple different ways I could have played the game differently. To possibly win. <sighs> Still Valerius? No, I didn't. Uh, this whole day or only when you're watching your screen? I was told to base it's basically only like for my computer, I believe. Mm -hmm. I did not have Valerius now. Got thought seized already. Um mm. Ooh, CWS. Thanks for the big host, I appreciate it. I'm trying to figure out a sideboard here. I feel like K command is still gonna be like good here. I mean I can do this. Let's just let's discard spells. I can see that being fine. I was figuring out if I want to get rid of bolts or discard spells, but I think discards getting rid of those is fine. This hand looks good to me. Just cut two bow mass. They're not playing Renin 6, so I like Bomat a lot more here. <laughs> mm, bobble them. Not what I wanted to see on top. <laughs> really really good It'd be very hard to beat that hand very very hard to beat that hand that's a start Okay, maybe. <laughs> I just remember. I mean, they have Dark Confidant, right? Wait, 
I just remember the bomb. That's the plan right now. Ah, yeah, I probably want to dismember the bomb. Overbolt. Hmm. I don't want to bolt it though. Yeah, I'm gonna bolt it instead. Are you doing the Octagon tonight? Um, I'm not. My plan today was originally just play this and play a bunch of Mana Traders. Hmm. I didn't draw land. That's really good for me. Yeah, no, I'm not doing the Octagon tonight. I mean, if it has spots open and needs me to fill, I'll play it. But besides that, I probably won't play it. <laughs> oh, this is what's happening in the artifact section again? Hmm. This is funny. Probable, sure. There's two spots left. They need me to fill, like, right beforehand. I'll play it, but besides that, I'm just not going to play. Because I have a modern prelim I want to play today. Because I want to do, like, a longer stream, because I didn't stream yesterday. Because my neck was, like, killing me. I took some Advil today, and I'm hoping that will uh, help out. You sure. This is the hand that we know about. Mm -hmm. Kind of fortunate, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think I'm just going to attack here and then put layers into my hand. I know I'm not doing that much damage and I could have bolted, but I don't think I'm supposed to use the bolt there. Job prediction. What do you mean? That was the best fossil jaw in my deck, I think. I didn't have to create it, that didn't work out for you. <laughs> they have Liliana the Veil? Don't we know about it from a bobble? Turn one? And we know about this Abrupt Decay and they're still not willing to cast it. Even though I've shown Lyris, yeah, I guess.
I'm doing this to make them discard a card, because they almost assuredly have a card that's like actually good in their hand. Ooh. That's a big that's that's a way to get me. Did not play around the Veil Summer. I'm worried if my opponent is like huge brain we get punished a lot here but besides that I want to see something from them okay now I can just do this uh, maybe I'm supposed to let them plus because of the decay I don't know so my yeah no I shouldn't have bolted there I should have plus try and get the decay out of their hand well, I guess I can just kick command them, kind of, still. So, yeah, I kind of want to kick command back Lurus. I think I'm just going to do this, then. Play Scourge. Kick command. Uh, Lillian discard. Uh, because I wanted to get the Scourge back to my hand. And I had Bolt to deal with Liliana. Though, I shouldn't have bolted Liliana when I did. I should have let them plus to get the Abrupt Cat out of their hand. They drew another Fatal Push. Now that they thought sees me, I'm in a pretty bad spot. But besides that, I think I'm good here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I guess I can't get super greedy here. My life total. I want to, like, dismember it and then, like, discard spell them in the draw step, but that just takes too much life. Just puts me down to one. Seems really bad. Castle Lockwain. Oh, lordy. I think I'm fine playing this out, even though we don't actually get any value from it immediately this turn. Maybe so the discard spells are bad if they have any left in their deck. And, like, unless they're playing Damnation, basically. Like, if we lose our lawyers, we're still getting three cards out of our Bowmat Courier, so it's not the end of the world. I think I care about Hex Drinker, really. Actually, no, they put it all out on Hex Drinker. They block Scourge, they block Shadow. I go up to seven. I'm not dead. What is it? It's eight, though, and they only have seven mana. So, yeah, we actually don't even, like, just straight lose the Hex Drinker. Oh, they do Tarmogoyf as well. Okay. They have to block Shadow plus Scourge, right? I guess they could just block Scourge with the Lurus. But I don't find any removal spells. So I have a lot of redraws and removal spells. Because of the Bow Mats. Oh, Tarmo out of the yard. Yes, there we go. You're right, you're right. Ooh, that changes the game. Changes the game heavily. 
Hmm. I think I'm supposed to attack with everything here. Well, wow, they. What? So weird. it twice in one not necessarily we're gonna see their blocks may change things Because now I can just cast it from my yard still. Which they could find something off of this to get me. That's unlikely. they found land, I guess they're not dead. Or if they found a spell here. Hit the land first. Yeah. But they potentially block differently and it makes it so it's not lethal. And it's not like we're in a bad spot because they don't actually have any direct damage, so we just play Bomat Career and we're still very far ahead in the game. So it's not like the game's over. Possibly we're supposed to make the other play because it's maybe a bit tighter, but I'm not quite sure. Hmm. 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 Cheese them out? No. Playing too many basics. I think on the draw I can keep this hand with a bobble and multiple one drops to cast. <laughs> I want mean, to use fail push my bow marker all done, you know? The bow marker in your deck instead of. What is SSM? So mean spirit guide? No, that's SSG. What is SSM? Soul Scar Mage? There we go, Soul Scar Mage. Oh, no second land opponent? You kept a seven on the play with no second land? What are you what are you doing? What are you doing, opponent? I'm gonna spend this turn just getting to my third land drop. Ooh, okay, well. Good thing the knights whispered. We need to find I wanna find the third land drop. No reason to bobble yet. They may just crack a uh, spell bomb immediately. If they do, then I want to spell bomb after that. Or want to bobble after that. Mm hmm. Inquisition is coming off the top next turn. Okay. Land? Please? No land. Wow. Start with Thoughtseize. I want to see what they're working with. <laughs> well, they can't Inquisition me and play a Scan Muse in the same turn, so I've got that go for me. <laughs> okay, a Depot Trace. Let's see what you got for me. Oh, I love yellow. Oh, I love red. I think it's called red line, right? Yeah. 
I like Redline. I haven't actually seen it all the way through because I was really drunk the first time I saw it. But I've seen the beginning part of it, like, a couple times. Those glasses, nice space. Takes K command. I guess there's no real reason to, like, discard spell this turn, because we know their hand, and we have answers to all of it. Because their hand is just this, let's use their scavenging use of Rupt Decay. You have Fatal Push for scavenging use. Um, they can't draw a discard spell and a land in the same turn to be able to play scavenging use as well as take our Fatal Push. So if they decide to discard spell us and take our Fatal Push, then we Thought sees them take their scavenging use. We overloaded their removal spells. We play scavenging use, we fatal push them, and we can either thoughts use them or play like a threat. I don't know what we decide we want to do. Or they just play their removal spells, and then, you know, we can go discard spell threat as well. Decide to do nothing. Got to game out of my sure. I take Blood Cheese Thirst, because if they want to play like a 2-drop, whatever, I'm just going to like deal them so much damage, and I'll just be able to Fatal Push it. It's just not going to happen. And sick, Misha's Bobble Bud. Yeah. Luckily, they target themselves, so that was definitely the correct play for them. Hmm. Oh, it's punished for keeping a little later. Yep. Definitely punished. Hmm. Okay. Well, we went 4 1. That's always good. Watching this on YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch and Twitter in the description below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.